Pertzner takes you inside the courtroom where judges heard a lot about the family's troubles. Ruth Pine was found in May of last year by her husband and daughter. She'd been beaten and stabbed several times. That's Bernie Pine hysterical finding his wife here inside the garage. His 10-year-old daughter can be heard in the background. They handed the phone to the next-door neighbor, David Gilbert, who ran over. The idea what happened, all he kept telling me was there was blood. There's blood everywhere. Look, I heard screaming. I came outside of my house. Him and his daughter apparently just got home. That's all I know. Ruth Pine was bipolar who attacked her kids when she went off her meds. Her husband, Bernie, tried to have her committed. The prosecutor will try to prove to the jury that Jeffrey Pine, a top student who got along well with everyone, planned, killed his own mother, and lied about where he was when his mother was viciously killed. And he hit her in the back of the head. And he hit her again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Jeff has the full support of his own dad, family, and, and many friends trial, who have held I'm fundraisers to, to pay for his defense attorney from idea. Grand Rapids. To make sure this unsubstantiated claim that Jeffrey Pine is responsible for the death of his mother. Somebody else committed this crime. We believe the evidence will show you that. This trial could last two to three weeks. We do not know if Pine will take the stand in his own defense. In Oakland County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.